Hi everyone, Miss Tui here. All living things need energy to survive. A food chain shows how living things get their energy from food. You are going to create a food chain and program Ozobot to demonstrate how energy passes from the sun to one living thing to another. For today's lesson, you will need an Ozobot fully charged and calibrated, a pencil, color code markers, both pages of your energy food chain activity sheets, and a color code chart. In today's lesson, you will choose from a list of producers, consumers, and decomposers to plan the sequence of a food chain, use your plans, drawings, and lines to create a model of a food chain, and use color codes to program your bot to demonstrate the flow of energy in a food chain. A food chain is a sequence that shows the flow of energy between living things. Food chains begin with the sun and living things called producers. Producers are plants. Producers get their energy from the sun as they make their own food in a process called photosynthesis. Next in the food chain are consumers. Consumers like animals, people, or fungi are living things that cannot make their own food. There are four different types of consumers, herbivores, carnivores, omnivores, and decomposers. An herbivore eats only plants. A carnivore eats animals only. An omnivore eats plants and animals. A decomposer eats dead plants or animals. Are you ready to make a model of a food chain? A model is a representation of an object, person, or system. Your model will show the movement of energy in an ecosystem or community of living things. Let's begin by looking at the list of organisms on the energy food chain activity sheet. You will choose four or five organisms from the chart. Your food chain will begin with a producer. Once you choose a producer, think of a consumer that would eat it. Your food chain will continue with consumers based on the food they eat. Finally, you will end your food chain with a decomposer. I am going to circle the organisms I will use in my food chain. I will use a flower, a grasshopper, a mouse, a snake, and bacteria. What organisms are you going to show a food chain with? Can you circle four or five organisms? These organisms should connect based on the food they eat. Now you will use the organisms you chose to make a plan for your map that shows the sequence of your food chain. Below the list of organisms, you will find six empty boxes. First, you will decide where your food chain is going to start. Since all food chains start with energy from the sun, you will write the word sun in the box you choose. I'm going to have my food chain begin on the left side of my map, so I will write the word sun in the box on the top left. Next, I will use arrows to show the flow of energy in my food chain. I will draw an arrow to the box I am going to put my producer in and write the name of my producer, flower, in a box. Then I will draw an arrow to the box I am going to put the first consumer in that eats the flower and write the name of the consumer, grasshopper, in the box. Now I will draw an arrow to the box I am going to put my second consumer in that eats the grasshopper and write the name of the consumer, mouse, in the box. I will continue to add arrows in the names of my consumers until my plan is complete and ends with my decomposer. You can choose to sequence the boxes differently as long as your food chain is in the correct order. Can you make a plan to show the sequence of your food chain? Remember to begin with the sun, followed by a producer, and to draw arrows to show the flow of energy from one organism to the next.
Time to use your plan to draft your map. Get out the energy food chain map. The map has six boxes in the same location as the boxes on your plan. You will use your pencil to draw pictures of the organisms from your plan in the larger boxes on the map and write the names of the organisms in the smaller boxes. Then you will use your pencil to draw lines to show the sequence or flow of energy in your food chain. Finally, you will include empty boxes for color codes that program your bot to show the flow of energy. Here is my plan and here is my draft. The location of the organisms and the flow of energy are the same. Since my map needs to have lines for my bot to continuously travel along, I drew lines around the boxes. Can you use your plan and a pencil to create a draft of your map? Once your draft is complete, you are ready for your color code markers. You will use your markers to trace over your lines in black and to add color codes to program your bot to demonstrate the flow of energy in your food chain. You can get creative with the color codes you choose and use the color code chart for help. How might your bot move if it were the consumer eating or chasing its prey? Here is my completed map. The amount of energy that passes between organisms decreases as it moves along the food chain. I use blue boxes of color to show how the amount of energy decreases as it moves up the food chain. Can you use your color code markers to trace the lines and complete the color codes on your map? Time for your bot. Your bot is going to start at the beginning of your food chain. Then it will move to the different organisms to demonstrate the sequence or flow of energy. Let's watch my bot in action. Now it's your turn. Can you run your bot to show the flow of energy in your food chain? Finally, you will write to summarize the energy pass in your food chain. Below your plan on the energy food chain activity sheet, write sentences to sequence the flow of energy shown in your food chain. Remember to use sequence words. Some examples of sequence words are first, before, next, after, then, now, last, and finally. Can you use sequence words to write about the energy flow in your food chain? Check your work. Your activity sheet should have the organisms in your food chain circle a completed plan for your energy food chain, a written summary that tells the sequence of energy in the food chain. Your map should have pictures and labels of the organisms in your food chain, lines that show the sequence of energy flow in your food chain, and color codes that program your bot to demonstrate the flow of energy. If you're looking for more to do, write to tell how each organism in your food chain could use the energy it receives to grow, move, or survive. Create a second model of a food chain using different organisms, then compare and contrast the models, or complete the same steps to create a model of a food web. Come back again soon for our next lesson.